Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd From the manners of fasting Is giving up the muharramat And doing the ta'at Doing those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with And avoiding those things he has prohibited Subhanahu wa ta'ala Especially while fasting during the holy month of Ramadan And watching the speech that we use, watching the things that we look at, watching what we listen to and observe. As is mentioned in the hadith of Abu Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, an Abi Huraira ta, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, anna nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, wa idha kana yawm al-sawm ahadakum fala yirfuth, wa la yadkhab, fa in sabahu ahadun, aw qatiluhu fal yaqul, إِنِّي أَمْرٌ صَائِمٌ وفي رواية أخرى عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه أيضا أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إذا أصبح أهدكم يوما صائما فلا يرفض ولا يجهل فإن أمر شاتمه أو قاتله فليقول إني صائم إني صائم In those two ahadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم those روايات مختلفة that were narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he gave us, and he was the best of the mudaris, the best of the, you know, the madrasat al-khair, you know, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us the proper education and the proper outlook and the proper way and mannerisms of how to, to deal with this, this life and how we should be in this life. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if one of you fasts, then do not yarfath. Ibn Hajr said about yarfath, he said, Murad bi qawli qal, Ibn Hajr qal, wa murad bi rath huna kalam fahish. So Ibn Hajr al-Askalani rahimahullah ta'ala said, yarfath, here it means to have wicked speech, to have wicked, foul speech. Wa la yaskhab, and Yaskhab, Ibn Hajr also said in Fatul Bari, he said, Sakhab means al khisam meaning to have argumentation. So we should be cautious about argumentation. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, and if one, if someone curses you or fights you, then say to him, verily I am fasting. And in another narration, the Prophet ﷺ said, if you reach the morning and one of you is fasting that day, then do not have uh, filthy speech or wicked speech. And do not be jahil, do not be ignorant, uh, meaning to transgress the bounds, as Ben Uthaymin says. So do not transgress the bounds with anyone and be oppressive towards anyone. And for verily, if someone curses you, curses him, or fights him, he should say, I am fasting, I am fasting. So both of those ahadith show us the prescription, the prophetic prescription of how we should deal with when we're confronted with foul speech, someone's cursing us, someone tries to harm us, tries to fight us. That in general, in order to maintain our fasting, to maintain our state and our reaching out for taqwa Allah that we should strive our best to avoid confrontation and argumentation and fighting with them. Not meaning that we should avoid defending ourselves if it becomes necessary to defend ourselves, but that we should strive to maintain our adab of fasting and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from harm while we're fasting and outside of the time we're fasting and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the ma'asi and the noob and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas with the bat and may he subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina muhammad